Aloha and welcome to At The Crossroads. Thank you for joining us today where we have conversations that are real and relevant. I am your host, Keisha King. Today, we open our broadcast with some alarming news. America is in a financial crisis. Now, that's not new information. We, however, have some, a new statistic from the National College Board that the student loan debt is a staggering $1.5 trillion. The College Board reports that the average college student graduating from a four-year public school has $27,000 in student loan debt. Attending a four-year private nonprofit school, the number skyrockets to $33,000 in student loan debt. You can go ahead and put up that number just so that people can see it is staggering. If you don't really know the numbers, you have millions, then you have billions, then you have $1.5 trillion. These numbers are distressing one that even has our presidential hopefuls discussing and addressing this as a high priority issue on their platform. Many of them have discussed plans to eradicate the issue, including student loan forgiveness, reducing college tuition costs, and free community college. Believe me, there is no quick fix. Young Americans are seeking ways to reduce the debt and around kitchen tables everywhere throughout the country, families are asking the question, how are we going to afford college for our children and avoid debt in its entirety? With no immediate governmental solutions in sight, one organization offers a glimmer of hope to deserving local students. For over 100 years, Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated has offered scholarships for deserving students throughout the nation. Today, we will learn how they are continuing that tradition in a very spooktacular way. Joining us is local chapter president, George Allen Jr., president of the Zeta Phi Sigma chapter right here in Honolulu, Hawaii. Welcome to At The Crossroads, George. Thank you for having me, I appreciate it. Certainly, it's totally my pleasure. I love the work that you all are doing throughout the nation as a larger organization and then throughout the state of Hawaii. Thank you so much. Now, I don't even know where to begin. As you heard me mention in our opening, we have $1.5 trillion worth of debt and that's all student loan debt. It's unreal, and the numbers are staggering. Um, there are currently about 20 million students attending college right now, mm -hmm. and that is a lot different from when your organization was formed in the early <laughs> 1900s. At that time, there were only about 600,000 students attending mm -hmm. school, and they didn't look like the demographics that we have today. So let's take it back to the early 1900s. Why don't you tell me, when did your organization begin? We was founded January 9th, 1914, on the campus of Howard University in Washington, D.C. Okay. So you have a rich, rich history. Um, tell me a little bit about your history and your founders and uh, anything you'd like to say with regard to that. Well, we was founded by three young men, Abram Layson Taylor, Leonard Francis Morse, and Charles Anasis Brown. And um, we was founded on three, three things, brotherhood, scholarship, and service. Okay. There is strength in numbers. I'd like to know, nationally and even internationally, how large is your organization? Nationally, we're probably up to approximately 300,000 in wow. members. That is incredible. And now you have a local chapter, Zeta Pi Sigma. How large is that chapter? Um, we actually have two chapters here. So oh, we have a okay. grad and an undergrad. Okay. Um, our grad chapter is approximately about 25 members, mm -hmm. and our undergrad is about five members. Okay, wonderful. Congratulations on the growth that you all have here in the islands and all throughout the world. Um, when I think about college and fraternities, I think about parties. 
<laughs> <laughs> and so for a little bit, we're going to talk about a party. But before we get there, I want to talk just a little bit about what your programs are with your organization. What, um, where do you place your emphasis of purpose? Of course, we love to place our emphasis on education. Um, mm -hmm. We have four major programs that we do, and that's bigger and better, um, bigger and better business, social action, education, of course, and Sigma Beta Club. Okay, you seem to put a great deal of emphasis on education. You all were founded on Howard University's campus. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Some people call it the mecca of <laughs> <laughs> historically black colleges and universities. But it is a well-known university for African Americans. It's for everyone, but founded mm -hmm. in you know, the history. Please tell me, why do you all put such a great emphasis on education? Kids are our future. And we have to look at it as nowadays, everything is based off of education. But we want to make sure that everybody is successful, and that's one of the ways that we get back to the community is trying to give scholarships and help others out with education. Very good. I think that's wonderful what you do. I'm an educator by trade, so it is delightful. It's like music to my ears to hear how wonderful um, or the great emphasis that you all put on education. Now I'd like to know what those programs look like in detail, just a little bit, as far as mentoring and working with uh, young people. We, we love giving back to the community. Um, one thing we do, we go to different high schools or different elementary schools and things of that such. And we would like to spend time with the kids, um, teach kids how to tie a tie, mm. um, just giving them the basic knowledge skills that they, they're going to need in life. Um, we also give out scholarships, and we also clean up the um, highway, Nimitz Highway. Oh, right out here at Nimitz. I know exactly yes. the area. Mm -hmm. I think you all have a sign out there. We do. Very good. That's awesome. <laughs> So you give back in forms of mentoring, cleaning up, literally, and um, working with young boys to teach them how to tie ties and do things of that nature. Yes. That's very helpful. Um, do you have any idea of the numbers that you might have as far as the amount of people that you have helped here locally? Just an that's, approximation. That's, that's over 100. We, that's amazing. We go everywhere, and we, we try to do the best I can in giving back. Wonderful. We appreciate the efforts that you're making and the things that you're doing to give back. And we love the way that you're doing it now. So I want to get into this because as you can see from our beautiful background, we're excited for the season. Um, if you don't know, we are getting ready for, it's fall here in Hawaii. It's fall everywhere, I'm, I'm sure, everywhere in the continental US. And mm -hmm. we are getting ready to celebrate Halloween. So, yes. You guys have a really spectacular event coming up in the name of Partying with a Purpose. Tell us, what's the name of your event? The name of our event is Sigma Fright Fest. Oh, and say that three times fast. <laughs> <laughs> Sigma Fright Fest. Yes. Okay, I did it once. Okay. <laughs> when is this? So this is October 25th, mm -hmm. and it'll start at 9 p.m. to 2 a.m., mm -hmm. and uh, it'll be at the artistry. Okay. All right. So we'll give more details about that in just a little bit. But I want to kind of go back to this student loan debt. Mm -hmm. $1.5 uh, trillion is unsurmountable to me. I can't fathom that number. I agree. So I have to ask you a personal question. Mm -hmm. Do you have student loan debt? I do. You do? I okay. definitely do. Yeah, I do too. <laughs> and it's a scary thing when you graduate that's the beginning, you think, of your life as an independent adult. Mm -hmm. And many college students graduate and they come out and they have that debt and they feel overwhelmed. How did it make you feel when you graduated school? I was very overwhelmed. I was, I was happy and excited that I finally graduated and everything was good to go. However, I knew in the back of my mind that I still owe debt to the school. Mm -hmm. And you had to find a way to pay. Because they give you six months to find a job and mm -hmm. to get a place and get a car, get established at a job, and then start making payments. <laughs> yes. But oftentimes that six months is not enough. And they say, as I mentioned earlier in my statistics, that you graduate with at least $27,000 worth of debt. That's just with your four-year degree. Mm -hmm. Did you go beyond a bachelor's degree? I'm currently working on my master's right now. Congratulations. But Will that give you more debt? It will. See? So if you want to make more money, you got to go with more debt. And it's this cycle. And so many of us find ourselves there. 
And so there are lots of ways to eradicate this step, but it's if you're thinking in terms of sports, you have to play a little defense, a little offense, right? Yes. So for me, I found that as I've done the research, throughout the country, if you look at the number, let's see, 27,000, it breaks down like this. For the year, that's $6,700, okay? So you have two semesters per college year. Yes. So that's $3,300, almost $3,400 per semester worth of debt that people accrue. Mm -hmm. So I want to get into the scholarships that you all offer and how that works against that one semester, that $3,300 or $3,400. But before we get there, I want to ask you, are you comfortable with paying back your debt? And meaning, are you able to afford it <laughs> without getting too personal? At times it gets hard, but I try the best I can. Okay. And I think that's everyone. I think because life treats you like that. Yes. One minute you're okay and it's okay, I can handle this. <laughs> but let an emergency come across and then you're, you're faced in that cycle of having to um, just barely make it. Mm -hmm. So. Tell me more about you all's event coming up. But before we get into that, tell me more about the ways that you give back. How many events do you hold each year as an organization? We like to do two major events every year. And those two major events are a Halloween party. And in January, we always do our strut and stroll. Okay. Strut and stroll. So I've been to one of those. Mm -hmm. and I had a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> and there were a lot of people there. There is. Yeah. Yeah. Do you expect a lot of people at the, I'm going to try to say it, Sigma Fright Fest? We do. Um, every year is a good turnout and it's for a good cause. And mm -hmm. it's pe people come out and, and just love the competition with the costume. They come out and enjoy themselves. Okay. So we're going to get into that. We're going to go for a break. But before we do, I want to make sure that everyone who is watching, I want to make sure that you know there are organizations out there that can help. And when we come back from our break, we're going to talk some more with Mr. George Allen, Jr., president of the local chapter of the, I'm sorry, president of the Zeta Pi Sigma chapter of the Phi Beta Sigma <laughs> Fraternity Incorporated. So we're going to come back and talk about his party with purpose right after this break. Thanks to our ThinkTech underwriters and grantors, the Atherton Family Foundation, Carol Mon Lee and the Friends of ThinkTech, the Center for Microbial Oceanography Research and Education, Collateral Analytics, the Cook Foundation, Duane Carisu, the Hawaii Council of Associations of Apartment Owners, Hawaii Energy, the Hawaii Energy Policy Forum, Hawaiian Electric Company, Integrated Security Technologies, Galen Ho of BAE Systems, Kamehameha Schools, MW Group Limited, the Scheidler Family Foundation, the Sydney Stern Memorial Trust, Volo Foundation, Yuriko J. Sugimura. Thanks so much to you all. Aloha and welcome back to At the Crossroads. I am your host, Keisha King, and today we are talking about the $1.5 trillion student loan debt that most of America is facing. Our young adults are graduating from college with all of this debt burden on their backs, and we have one wonderful local organization that is doing their part to help against this debt crisis. Thank you. I'm here with Mr. George Allen, Jr., um, local chapter president of the <laughs> Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated. And his local chapter is the Seda Phi Sigma, Sigma chapter. chapter. Thank you. <laughs> so one of the things that we were talking about is how you guys have a party with a purpose and you do this every year in an effort to raise funds for scholarships so that people can avoid having to take out student loans on so much money. So I want to pull up a picture now of some of the men in your organization. We are looking at some of the men from the local chapter, is that correct? That's correct. Okay. 
And so, and then this is also the graduate chapter or undergrad or is undergrad. it undergrad? Okay. All right, and when you say undergrad chapter, are we talking about locally here at UH? No, ma'am. We are currently trying to get on UH okay. and, and have a chapter at UH. Um, it's just currently on our undergrad. Okay. Okay. Understandable. We're a military town, so a lot of people are mm -hmm. undergrad someplace else, maybe off island, online, you name it. So, I get it. So now back to the fun. <laughs> There's a party coming up <laughs> and it's going to be so much fun. The Sigma Fright Fest. I'm getting faster at saying it. <laughs> now tell us, you're doing this to raise funds. Yes. Yeah. And so approximately how much funds nationally? I'm figuring if your local chapter is doing this, they're probably doing it in every state and throughout different countries even. Yes. So how much do you think you've helped raise this annually approximate number? I would say approximately about 100000 Each year. year. Yes. $100,000. Okay, you see me here? That's a lot of money. <laughs> $100,000 helps 100,000 people or more. You never know. Mm -hmm. That's a great effort. So when people come to your events, they are making a big dent in that huge debt. And they're helping to people to avoid that debt as a whole. Mm -hmm. Most definitely. Yeah. So now tell me about the scholarship recipients. How do they qualify? Um, what are you looking for? We usually ask for students who has a 3.0 3 or higher GPA, um, okay. stays out of trouble, and they have to write an essay. On, an essay? Yes. Okay. They write an essay on why they deserve the scholarship. Simple enough. All right. Any page number or um, word count? No page number, no word count. Okay. So just make it known that you want this scholarship and here's why you believe you deserve it. Yes. And, the, and then the 3.0 GPA or better. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The higher the GPA, the better. Yes. I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> and then stay out of trouble. Of course. Is this for young men only or men and women? It's not only young men, it's young men and young women. That's wonderful. Okay, so it's for anyone and everyone. Yes, most definitely. It's not definitely. gender uh, specific, so that's really good. All right, so now tell me that that's who qualifies. Approximately how much money do they earn uh, once if they are chosen or selected as the winner? They earn roughly, each, each recipient earns between 500 to to $1,000. That's amazing. So let's go back to our numbers. If a person has approximately $27,000 every um, four years, for four years worth of college at a public institution, mm -hmm. doesn't matter which institution they go to. Is that right? Can they pick? That is, that is correct. They can pick wherever they want to go. Okay, so they could go to Trump University. Don't say yes. <laughs> I'm sorry. You said anywhere, but I don't know. Are they even open? I don't even think they're even open. Scratch that. <laughs> but wherever they decide to go, they can take that $500 to $1,000 with them. Yes. Assuming they had to get loans all four years, if we go back to our numbers, we said $67.50 to be exact is per year. Mm -hmm. So if you give a student $500 to $1,000, Let's say they get $1,000, that 6700 drops down to 5700 mm -hmm. That makes a difference, especially when it comes to your monthly payments after graduation. Most definitely. Yes, indeed. So you guys are making a huge difference, and it shows in the numbers. Because, you know, as parents, when they're sending their kids off to school, that's what matters, the bottom line. Yes. Have you ha heard from parents who have written or called to say thank you? Or do you have any stories, success stories, about people who've received your uh, scholarship? Yes, of course. Um, ever since I'm, I'm in the military, so ever since I've been on Island, um, we do it every year, it's annually. And we have, we have kids that have gone to college, wrote us letters. They, um, they definitely keep in touch with us, let us know how it's going. We make sure they have all the resources that they need to be successful in college. What does that mean? You make sure they have the resources necessary. You don't just give them the money and just go on your way? We, no, we do not do that. Okay. We, we always keep in contact with them, and we try to keep in contact with them the whole four years that they're there. So it's much more than just money for you all. It, it's a relationship. It's building relationships. I see. I see. So 
That is amazing. So I know uh, in the community you all are known as the Sigmas. So it's amazing what the Sigmas are doing to build and develop relationships with these students. That's amazing. That's a good thing, parents. If you're listening and you have a young adult who is ready to graduate, not a young adult, but a high school student who's ready to graduate, what should they do to get in touch with you all to, um, to get their child to write the essay and get the information to you? How can they connect? They're more than welcome to email myself mm -hmm. at allen, A-L-L-E-N, 9266 at gmail.com. Okay. And I will be more than welcome to send out the criteria. Okay. And when they send it back, we'll make sure we'll put them in the shoot and hopefully they win the $500 to 1000 that's amazing. And can they also find you on Facebook? Yes, they can. Okay, and what's that? You can find me on Facebook at just simply George Allen. Okay, so George Allen, or do, do, does your organization have a Facebook page or website? Yes, ma'am, we do. You can just type in on Facebook, Honolulu Sigmas. Okay, that's easy enough. Honolulu Sigmas or George Allen 9266 at gmail.com. Allen 9266. Allen 9266 at gmail.com. So we want to yes. make sure we say that a lot. So now, in order to get this money to give away to these deserving students, yes. you have to have an event. Yes. Let's talk about this event. <laughs> we can show the flyer because we want you guys to see it is the Sigma Bright Fest coming up. Tell us all about it. You can hold that um, picture up. So Sigma Fright Fest, we do it every year. This is our sixth annual um, Halloween party. And this is something that 21 and older, and this is something that you would enjoy. Yeah. We come out, um, we'll have raffle tickets, and you have the costume contest, and people just come out, meet new people, have a good time. Okay, okay. So you have a costume contest. Yes. <laughs> this sounds exciting. <laughs> What have people dressed up as in the past? Oh, you can see everything. You have uh, Bobby and Whitney Houston. I think they won last year. They did. We have that picture. There's, she looks just like Whitney. <laughs> <laughs> she looks just like Whitney mid, I want to say 85 Whitney, right? Like 85, maybe early 90s. I can see that. And is that Bobby? It is Bobby. Okay. Looking like a bad boy. <laughs> <laughs> and then we also got men. The men seem to get a little more creative than the females, especially last year. Oh, what in the world? What, I know. What is this? It, it almost <laughs> looks like, oh, what's the group that sings the YMCA? <laughs> it looks like the village people, Spider-Man, police officer showing his guns, biceps. <laughs> so the men do get a little bit more creative. They I do. love it. Okay. All right. So. Come prepared, wear your costume, and enter the contest. Yes. You have raffle tickets. Yes. For prizes such as? Uh, it could be money prizes, um, a gift basket, anything of that such. Okay. Okay. So you have lots of things going on to make the night frightfully exciting. Yes. <laughs> Spooktacular. And then all of, um, and then of course, a portion of the proceeds go toward the scholarship fund. Yes, and then you give it away at the end of the year. Yes, ma'am. That's ma amazing. And then you have another major event. Tell us about that. That'll be in January. That's the Strut and Stroll. Um, like you said before, you, you've been there before. You mm -hmm. know, it's, it's a lot of people there. And it's just mm -hmm. plenty of stuff going on, a lot of action. Mm -hmm. um, we go and we have every fraternity and sorority. They'll do a step. And we'll have special guest, special guest judges. Mm -hmm. And um, whoever's the best winner wins, wins money, wins $1,000 for the organization. Okay, sounds amazing. So now I was there last year. I sat at the judges' table, but I wasn't an official judge. Mm -hmm. I was an observer. <laughs> <laughs> and I observed a lot. I remember, if I'm not mistaken, a, a military group won. Military, yes. right? Is yes. that right? Yes. That's my memory. I'm trying to remember. I do remember they were sharp. They was. They were really amazing. So that was good. Now we're going to expect them and everyone else to step it up a notch yes. this year. But October 25th, so not this Saturday, but next Saturday, I think it is. Is that next right? Next Friday. Next Friday night. Yes. From 9 p.m. to 2 a.m. So you're going to party all night long until the next day at the Sigma Fright Fest. Yes. We love it. We love it. We love it. Where can we buy tickets? You can buy tickets online on Eventbrite. 
mm -hmm. or you could find any brother that's a Sigma and we have a uh, hard copy ticket. Okay, so I want to make sure everyone knows they can buy tickets online at Eventbrite. Yes. And then can we go to the Facebook page of the Sigmas? You said Honolulu Sigmas? Yes, it is okay. currently not on the Facebook page. Okay. Um, we will definitely put the link on the Facebook page. Okay. So you guys can just click on it and go to it. And you can also buy tickets at the door. And tickets at the door. Yes. How much for the at, tickets at the door? Tickets at the door are $25. But I bet they sell out. They do. So you don't want to take that chance. Believe me, you don't want to miss a, a really good event. So don't take the chance of waiting to buy the tickets at the door. Try to get them in advance. Get them from someone who knows um, how to reach you all. And we'll mm -hmm. put that flyer up again. There is contact information there. And yes. where is this located? Because I'm not familiar with where you said it was. It's located, um, it's actually on the flyer. It's, it's located at the Otter Street in downtown Honolulu. Downtown Honolulu. You know what? That is going to be so fun. Fun, fun, fun. I don't have a costume yet. I don't know what I'm going to wear. I don't. I might just go as a news reporter. I'm really, you know, <laughs> not a, not real original with that one. You know, it's not a far stretch. What about you? Do you know what you're wearing? I don't know. It's, it's a secret right now. It's a secret. Top every, secret. Every year I come up with something different and something bigger. So uh -huh. I can't I can't let everybody know what I'm wearing. That's right. That's right. Mom's the word. You can tell me. I won't tell anybody. I just tell my <laughs> friends. <laughs> Your secret's safe. I will not tell it. We will just know that when we get there, it's going to be fun. There will be a... Uh, who's judging this, by the way? It will be us. It will, oh, it will be the so you judging. guys get to judge. Mm -hmm. But really, it's on the crowd. Okay. So whoever the crowd decides, okay. that's who wins. That's who wins. Got it. So we've got great... Um, Costume party coming up, a spectacular event for a good cause. I like to call it a party with a purpose with the um, brothers of the local chapter is the tell us all about that. So I don't mess it up. So the, the, local, cha the local chapter is Zeta Pi Sigma, a Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated. Got it. It's going to be a blast. Probably people from all of the Divine Nine will be there. Yes. And then, of course, people from the community are welcome to come. Doesn't yes. matter who you are, where you're from. Most definitely. Just show up. And you, I promise you, you will have a good time. I love it. I love it. Listen, we've been talking about a fun event that's coming up, and it is the Sigma Fright Fest, and that is October 25th, 2019. It's going to be a great time, but it's a party with a purpose, and we have to have parties with a purpose like this in order to eradicate the national student loan debt crisis. Keep that number in the back of your mind. The Sigmas are doing their part in making sure that students who are deserving earn at least $500 to $1,000 that they can apply toward their student loans. We want you to do your part. Come on out, enjoy the party, get your tickets. Don't wait, don't delay. It's gonna be fun. I'm gonna be there and I hope to see you there. Thank you so much for watching at the crossroads and I'll see you next time. Aloha.